When you are given the gift of leadership in a business, that means you also have some pretty high responsibilities in how you, um, you, you set up your, the culture of your business. And part of that culture is how you come alongside your, your employees. My brother Bob had um, been aware of chaplaincy programs in businesses. And he said, you know, I really think we need to consider having a chaplain on staff here at Vermeer. I began doing an employee assistance program for them, managing a crisis phone line and referring people for counseling. And about 10 years ago, I received a phone call from one of the managers here and he said, Pat, would you be interested in beginning a chaplain program for us? And I hesitated a minute and I, my eyes kind of grew wide. I thought I know nothing about this, but I told him, yes, I would. So that's how we started. I just said, yes, I'll do that for you. And I just began my research then. I hired Kevin, I interviewed a lot of different people. I selected Kevin and we began to talk about what we wanted to see it happen here, what our vision was, what we saw developing as part of his work and how he thought he could be most useful in the transition from the pastor of a local church to being a chaplain at a large corporation. We developed a handbook, a guidebook. We developed uh, paperwork, manuals. There was nothing when we started, so we just worked together and developed uh, a template for how we could see the chaplain program developing. Can you describe why you're a separate company? Vermeer has such buy-in, which I think is critical with the company, to have the kind of buy-in that says, we want the chaplains here. So they've worked with me in supporting this chaplain program. So Vermeer funds what we do, and they're very interested in on-site, making sure we feel supported and connected. You know, certainly there's a cost, uh -huh. and a company would have to incorporate that in the structure, but I just think that it's been a win-win for everyone. Does the chaplaincy program in any way contribute to the bottom line? Well, I would say if you have healthy people and they can be productive, I certainly believe that does. That really isn't our ultimate goal, though. I mean, I think our ultimate goal is being concerned about the total person. When people have an avenue that they know they can go to if, if they're dealing with some life issues, I, I think that helps them be able to be at work more often, which definitely makes a difference on the bottom line if, if you have people who are committed to their work. If someone were to come to you and say, we've heard about this chaplaincy program, we'd like to, to consider starting one, what would be your advice to that person? Well, I think I would say, you know, go, go for it. Be sure and start a program. It's a real added value to your employees, and I don't think you can really measure that you have the program in place. For companies wanting to replicate this, that buy-in needs to be top-down and through the levels of management that they're supportive of the chaplain. The job is uh, lonely and difficult and the chaplain needs to know that there is corporate support for that. First of all, I would say, please do some benchmarking with other folks who have started these programs and find out what's worked for them and maybe what they would have done differently. It has been very valuable to all of our people and we certainly would encourage uh, other companies to look at doing the same thing. We hear from our supervisors and we hear from our employees that in some ways it's one of the best benefits that we offer to our people. Maybe there's a way to have some sort of chaplaincy services and it might not start out full time. Find out what can work for you, but, but go ahead and pursue it.